What's up guys, today we'll be doing a deep dive on the Urban Armor Gear civilian phone case and this video is going to tell you every single thing that you need to know about this phone case if you're on the fence about whether you should get this phone case, this is the video to watch So I got an iPhone 13 Pro earlier this year and this is my first step into the world of iPhones I've been an Android user pretty much my whole life why does this cost more than my MacBook Air? I don't even know. Because I spent a fortune on this phone, I was looking for a phone case that could really protect it and give it some life. I'm hoping to use this for the next four years. Fingers crossed, we'll see how that goes. I have a really bad track record with phones. I have not managed to successfully own a phone for more than two years in a row. Like that's how bad my track record is. So I'm really hoping this survives with this case. And that's what this review is about based on my experience the past one month. Just just for some context, this is my old phone, LG V30. This is absolutely wrecked. There's cracks all over the front screen. The camera is cracked at the back. The, the glass on the back of the phone is cracked. There's so many scratches. If my iPhone's gonna end up looking like this at the end of two years, I'm gonna be really heartbroken. So that's why I went on the deepest holes of the internet, looking for a phone that offers great protection, as well as, you know, have a bit of an aesthetic look if you will. And this is what I found. I did an unboxing for this phone case on TikTok and Urban Armor Gear reposted that on their TikTok page. Kind of honoured. So the pressure's on for this review. This phone case retails for $49.95. That's a pretty hefty price tag for a phone case. If you look at it on the spectrum of phone case prices, that's pretty much at the top. Starting with the first category of pros. Protection. Protection is very important. <sighs> I don't know what that was. This phone offers military grade drop protection. So any drop from 20 feet or 6 meters, you're pretty much good to go. I'll admit I've already dropped this phone a couple of times. Once from the dining table and a couple of times from the sofa. And it's been fine. My phone has no scratches on it. It's still brand new after the drop. When I'm using this case, it feels super solid, like it grips the phone really well. By the way, removing the phone from the phone case is not very easy because of how tightly it grips. Which is, I guess, a good thing. You don't want your phone slipping and sliding inside the case. So looking at the inside of the case, it has honeycomb patterns for shock absorption. I still have the case from the unboxing, so I'm just going to show you guys what's written here. It has impact resistance, bumpers, shock absorbing soft core, and a feather light armor shell. So this phone case actually has three layers. The grey layer, the black layer, and then the back shell. So pretty interesting technology. There's a very long paragraph here explaining their hypercushion impact protection system, but the last sentence is what's important. In other words, it cushions your precious phone when it slips out of your hand. That's it. That's all you need to know about this phone case. It protects your phone when it slips out of your hand. Another element is the braced bumpers all around the side of the phone case and also for the camera bump. So when you put your phone case face down or even on the back, it, your phone's not gonna get scratched because of that but being the overly cautious person that I am I do have a screen protector on on top of that I have a protector for the camera bump as to prevent the cameras from getting scratched even though I have these two protectors on it still fits with the phone case so you don't have to worry about screen protectors not fitting it's actually really flush like just nice so that's it for the protection basically you don't have to worry about protection this phone case if anything is made purely for protection when you're buying a phone case protection is definitely one thing another thing is the aesthetic you're buying the phone case because you want your phone to look pretty you want it to be protected, yes, but you also want it to look pretty. So let's talk about the design. I have so much to rent. Have you guys seen some of the other phone cases with military drop protection? They look so scary, like bro, who are these phone cases made for? Like what are they trying to protect their phones from? In my search, this was the only one that came up that had the modern minimalist vibe. Props to UHE for coming out with this civilian phone case line because honestly, if not for this, my phone might not even be in this state today. Like it might be that cracked version that you saw earlier. Design wise, honestly, this is one of the best ones that you can get that has the right balance between aesthetic and also protection. The buttons, if that's something that you're worried about, it's extremely tricky. Get a get an ASMR of the buttons. One thing about the design to take note of is 
the volume buttons and the on off button, the bumpers are slightly raised. So if you were to put it flat, it's a bit uneven when you put it on both sides because of the volume button and the on off button. Yeah, something minor just to take note. Okay, another thing about the design, this material that they use on the back doesn't register fingerprints. I have this clear phone case for iPhone 13 Pro and my goodness, this registers fingerprints and has smudges all the time. If I want to showcase the beautiful sierra blue of my phone, all I see are the fingerprints, not the colour. But with this phone case, I don't have that problem. The fingerprints are not visible and that's another advantage. Another minor thing, okay, if you're into MagSafe, this phone case is compatible with MagSafe. So that's a plus. Now let's talk about the things that are not so good about this phone case. As you may have seen in the thumbnail, scratches and slipperiness. These are the two main downsides to this phone case. The slipperiness, the material that they used on the back is very slick. It makes the foam look amazing, but it doesn't offer much grip when you're using it. And honestly, I have to be a bit conscious about how securely I'm holding the phone. There are times when I'm picking it up, if I don't pay too much attention or I didn't grip my phone hard enough, it does sneakily slip out of my hand a bit. And on the sides, there are no grip tapes or any engraving to allow your hands to grip onto something. So that's a huge downside for this phone. But I will say that it's not terribly bad. It's not to the point where I can't at all use this phone case. I have been using this and I'm still continuing to use this phone case. It's just that I have to pay a bit more attention when using it. I just have to be careful to make sure that I really grip my phone properly. Next, scratches. I know that eventually with all products, you're bound to get scratches with wear and tear, with usage but I'm just surprised at how quickly this has caused so many scratches it's only been a month and I've been working from home for the most part of this month it's just me putting it on the table and occasionally when I'm going out putting it in my bag but even with that usage, this has gotten so many scratches. Some people may be okay with this. They like the rugged look that it gives with the scratches. It has a warning feel. So yeah, the scratches are one. Another thing to note is the weight that the case adds to the phone. It's not very noticeable, but when I use it for prolonged periods of time, my hands get a bit tired. Just something to take note of. Okay, another con. This is almost quite funny. The colour variation of this phone. People seem to have a beef with the colour variations. I have the one in Mallard and it has grey accents on the front. And I believe the olive variation has orange accents on the front. And people are not happy about it. So many people are so triggered by that orange strip at the front. Yeah, it's just a personal preference. If the colourways are something that you do not enjoy, then you're probably not going to get this phone. So just something to look out for. So now, to answer the million dollar question. Or rather, the $49.95 question. <laughs> oh my god, what am I doing? Is this phone case worth buying? My answer is it depends. It really depends on your tolerance to scratches and whether you're okay with it being slightly slippery. If you are, then I have nothing else to say. You link in the description below, just get the phone case. If you're not, if you find the scratches to be a big deal breaker and the slipperiness as well, then you probably have to find another phone case. If you are on the fence about deciding whether to get this phone case, I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Do let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this. I'll be happy to answer them. And I'll catch you guys in another one.